Corsair 5000D Airflow, 15 total Noctua fans, 6 intake fans, 4 exhaust fans, 3 on the top, 1 in the rear, so 10 120mm Noctua fans. On the dual tower heat sink, 3 140mm fans, and 2 Noctua fans on the GPU. And you can check the components of my rig in the description. Front, top, and side panels are back on. All right, room temperature is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I am running OBS to record this, and you can see my idle temperature is at 39. Without it, it's about 32 degrees. And if we look at the GPU, you can see I'm idling at 29C. All right, I'm just about three and a half minutes into a Cinebench R23 uh, CPU stress test. I do have a Ryzen 9 5950X, 16 core, there's 32 threads. And you can see right there, so far it's only gotten to 67C, which is really good. TJ Maxx is 90 degrees Celsius. Um, as far as uh, my computer components, again, I will leave that in the description so you can take a peek at them. Okay, I ran the Heaven benchmark for about five minutes or so just to get it started. And you can see right there the GPU temps with those Noctua fans. It only got up to a, a max of 54 degrees, and this is about right. I get a little bit higher temps when I'm video editing and encoding and rendering, but it rarely hits 60 degrees through my uses. All right, here I am playing War Thunder from my Steam library. I am playing in 4K. You can take a look there. The temperatures are really good, especially with all these Noctua fans and the Noctua GPU. You know, pushing about 160 frames per second. I'm looking right there. It's about 54, 55 degrees. CPU still under 60 degrees. Playing at 4K. So the temperature is really good with, um, for all my users. I get higher temps while I am rendering or exporting 4K video. I like to take that. So I just want to thank you folks for watching. As always, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.